This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WAFB Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Friday headlines. Uh, one of the headlines is going to be that as you're stepping out this morning. Fog in the area. Can you see the state capitol from there? Yeah, not really. We're going to dig into that here in a quick minute because it's not just the fog. Fog now, rain later. When are we drying out? Because I know that's the question everybody wants answered. We're going to dig into it. Speaking of questions that need to be answered, human remains found along Perkins Road. You know where this is? The creek here. Uh, this is a uh, that's Congress over Congress. See that creek right there, that canal. That's where these human remains were found. It was actually a uh, a contractor out there working along the canal. About 10 o'clock ish yesterday morning, found multiple skeletal remains, called it in to the authorities, BRPD, and they launched their investigation, confirming yes, they are human remains. So now what happens? Well, actually, not just the coroner, but also the LSU Faces Lab, one of the great facilities of its kind in the country, working now to identify and probably, uh, possibly figure out what happened. We'll let you know, of course, as that investigation pushes forward. But again, some good groups here with, uh, with their eyes on it. Speaking of uh, trying to get to the bottom of something here, Louisiana State Police trying to figure out who's behind the wheel uh, of a crash that has now killed a man. State police say a man dies in a hit and run crash. 65 year old Jeffrey uh, Varese killed in a, a second passenger injured. This is up in uh, uh, Zachary. Troopers now looking for the driver of a 2012 Dodge pickup truck. So if you know uh, anything about this, again, this is like 930 in the evening, Wednesday. Uh, so late night, not a lot of folks may be around, but maybe somebody knows something. Read up the very latest on this story right here. You can always call Crime Stoppers with your tips because it's the easiest number to know, but trying to find the driver behind that wheel, that 2012 Dodge pickup truck that ended up taking off from that scene. Uh, our our I-team, first to break this story, uh, getting some tips here and then talking a little bit about it and then figuring out what was going on. Kayshawn Booty, remember the name? Former LSU uh, uh, football star, charged an illegal sports gaming scheme right now. So what authorities say happened as this investigation is going on here, they say he, uh, while he's with the Tigers, created a, an account, a sports betting account underage and then was able to bet like 9,000 times, totaling winnings of about half a million dollars. And part of this warrant now that's up all a part of this says that he actually placed a bet, uh, two of them, on a game that he was in uh, playing for, for LSU. So what does this mean going forward? Exactly. That's where the investigation continues to push forward. We'll follow that for you. But as for right now, what the charges are, what he's alleged to have done, all of that in this story, 9newsappandwab.com. Speaking of LSU, tough game last night, great game at the packed PMAC last night. The reigning national champs, LSU, taking on the top ranked team in the country this year, South Carolina. The Gamecocks once again getting the better of the Tigers. That is the 15th straight time, actually, that they've done that. So it's, that's been that mountain that they've not been able to get over, that hurdle they haven't been able to jump quite yet. The LSU uh, Tigers taking on uh, South Carolina. Close game until like the final you know, minute or so. Very tight ball game. What does this mean going forward? Well, they're still one of the best teams in the country and still the reigning champs. Got a, they're going on the road next. Uh, the next game is on the road. Can they just come together again after this? Because it was, again, a good close game. Nothing like what happened last year. So we'll see what they, able to, what they use this loss to do moving forward. Uh, speaking of moving forward, uh, we got some programming notes to let you know about. Here's how to find WBXH. Why? Because changes to the programming happening today. There is no 4 p.m. newscast. And 9 News at 5 and 6 p.m. are going to be airing on WBXH. And so what you want to do is find the WBXH, and it's right there waiting for you. Depending on your provider, it's going to be different channels, right? Uh, and so that's how, actually, you know to find WBXH. That's where you can go to make those plans. Speaking of plans, Mardi Gras, it is upon us. We've got parades in the area and beyond, uh, like today, tomorrow into the weekend. Crew of Gus Young Parade in Baton Rouge, that's tomorrow. You got the, the Mr. Crew of Mutts on Sunday. And it looks like the weather is going to behave for this. I mean, you, you wouldn't know it right now, right? I mean, uh, by the way, that's not the only parade. You can look over here. You got the Feliciana Family and Friends Mardi Gras Parade rolling as well uh, tomorrow. That's noon o'clock. So a whole running list of parades. But it looks like now the weather's going to be moving out here in time for these parades. Let me give you another look. This again, the story this morning, the fog in our little part of the world as you get ready for that Friday morning. 
it's going to eventually, hopefully, burn off. And then you get ready for something like this. This is future cast. Let me show you. We start it. We pick it up. We're going to restart this whole loop for you. We pick it up right around the 9.30 uh, in the morning time frame. And you can see the timing on some of this rain drying out a little bit as the afternoon gets going. But then as the evening shows up, you see that next little wave. The hope is that, let me click over to this, by the time Saturday morning rolls around, we are getting to the end of this just ridiculously rainy pattern that South Louisiana uh, has had for the last number of days. And then we get to enjoy, look, one, two, three, four, five, a number of days of dry weather. Cooler temps, certainly on Sunday, but I think, well, no matter the temperature, as long as it ain't freezing again, we'll take whatever the temp is if the rain goes away. So y'all get ready to enjoy what looks to be a decently dry weekend. Just got to get through today and early tomorrow morning with it. And if you're doing the parades, careful. Enjoy yourself. See you next time. Sponsored by Team Automotive Group.